Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, the puzzle we've got today has been recommended to us by um, Christoph Seliger, so that carries some excellent weight as a recommendation. And it's by Gaurav Kumar Jain, and from a few years ago, it's a Renban Sudoku. Now, what that means is that the lines in the grid, the extra lines in the grid, have to be occupied by each of them has to be occupied by a sequence of successive digits. Uh, so it could be one, two, three, four, five, or five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to have a look at the puzzle now and uh, see how we get on. And um, let's just see how we go. Right. It's tricky, isn't it? Now, the first thing I notice is a whole bunch of sevens, which look very usefully pointed towards this top right block. So I can put a seven in here. And that means I know that this shape must have a six, five on as well. Although I don't necessarily know where they go within that. Now, what else can I find here? Um, nine's a bit limited there, but it could still be on either shape. I don't know. This is tricky, isn't it? I don't know where we'd go from here. Um, maybe I can help. Ah! <laughs> what can you see, Simon? Oh, yeah, every one of the Zs. Every one of the Zs must have a five on it. Oh, yes, of course, because they're all five digits long. And so this them, one would have one in one of those positions. And look, now you've got fives on the right that align. So there must be a five in the bottom. Oh, I see. Fives there and fives there gives us a five down there. That's absolutely right. And there must be a five on this. So for there to be a five on this, it must be in one of those positions. So we're getting a kind of grouping of cells here, which we could color in some way that must the five in their boxes must be because both those two shapes need one must be yeah. there and there and that must apply symmetrically down here as well because that's idea. a lovely shape puzzle yeah. thank you no okay no well problem. good to see you yeah. and to you <laughs> bit of a surprise guest there weren't expecting that so now, what can we do with that information? Now, look, we've got a five in that group of cells there and a five in one of those. So the five in this box, which must be on this shape, has to now be in the bottom row. And that works quite nicely with the fact there must be a five in there somewhere to mean that there must be a five in the in the first column the five must be in the top box so it must be in one of those two and look at that that works with that group of fives to put the five in this shape in the top section um i'm struggling with the notation there a bit but there must be a five up there and okay so we've limited the fives down quite usefully it's quite hard with ren bands to work out where how to use the shapes so that's a decent start to the puzzle thank you simon for pointing that out every one of these shapes must have a five on that's the key thing um, now look at all these nines they are restricting nine in this group to one of these two cells so nine in the central block must be in one of those two cells. And look, this shape cannot contain a seven. Why can't it contain a seven? Because seven there rules out those two. And it also rules out those two. And seven here rules out those two, that one. So there's no seven on that. So there can't be a nine on it. It must be six, five, four, three, two or five, four, three, two, one. So this one is not a nine. We can actually place a nine there. Now that means that this shape has eight, seven, six, five on it. Um, 
don't quite know how, but that means one, two, three, four are in the other cells in this group. Two is restricted from those cells by a couple of twos already in the grid. So two must go here. Four will be on those somewhere. And one and three as well. So that's one or three. So we've got a two here. Is that useful? Yes. It puts a two in one of these places. And look, four there. Four must be in one of those two cells and four there. There's also a four and a two in those two cells. So they're a pair. We can get rid now of the five possibility there. Five's definitely in that group there. So I'm going to take it out of the center and put it in the corner there. Um, trying to get Simon's notation right. I've been able to have a lesson from him since he's here. So we've got 24197 up there. Um, what else can we see? It, I mean, this is slightly complicated to keep working through. Now, these have 1, 3, and 4 on. On so the highest they could be is three four mm, could be three four five six seven on that shape. It's a pity I was trying to rule a seven out from it. Uh, what else can we do? We've got a nine in one of those two places. Um, now, we know that this shape can't have a 7, so it must be, it must have 2, 3, 4, and 5. Ah, and this 2 has now ruled out this cell and these cells from being a 2. So 2 has to be in one of these positions. Um, that means 2 can't be there or there. Now we know 2 is in one of those two positions as well. From this two and this two. So this one is two, three, four, five, and either one or six. How does that help us? Um, be a while. There's a two here. Surely that's helpful. This is five, six, seven. Ah. And the nine, now that that's got a two on it, that shape's not big, the, the Renban shape's not big enough to have a nine on it. Nine's also not in those cells because of this nine. Therefore, this one is five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can see from the eight that the eight must go here. These three cells are five, six, and nine. Let's just take out the um, corner notations because they're confusing me. So eight, five, six, nine, seven on that shape. So this is one, to, where does one go in this box in one of those two positions? Um, that's good. Oh, look, this two, four shape. Sorry, I should have spotted this earlier. We had a two, four pair here. One of them's on the shape with another two. So that has to be a four, um, four there and two there. That's good. Um, this one can't be a one. It must be three or five. This one's one or three, we know. But this could be any of one, three or five at the moment. We've got two and four, nine, seven up there. This one can't be an eight. And this one can't be an eight. The reason for that is because they're both on shapes which include a two. So they couldn't reach to eight. So eight has to be there. Three isn't there. In fact, this cell has to be a six. Five is in the box in one of those two places. So these become five and three as a pair. Okay. Uh, 7352, that makes this cell a 1, because it was 1 and 3 were the only possibilities. This is either a 3 or a 5 now. 735214, that's not a 9. Yeah, we knew that. Okay, those aren't 1s now. 
that's a 3-4 pair, in fact. Um, nine, three. Okay, so that's a 3-4 pair. So this shape has to have a 5. It can't have an 8 or a 9. 8 must be in this group of cells down here. Um, is that helpful? Not really. Now, what else can we do? One, two, nine, three, six, two, seven, eight. That's not a six. That's not a nine. <clears throat> oh, it's just not giving up its secrets entirely, is it, this puzzle? Hopefully I won't need to call Simon back, though. <laughs> um, three, four. This can't be six or eight now, so it's five or seven. Okay. Um, six, nine, three, four, two. Now, one of these must be a one. Could it be that one? We'd have a two here. Could just be at the moment. There might be a way of ruling that out. I have a feeling it's not, but certainly can't prove it. Um, so how about this three, five pair? Now we know there's a two on this, don't we? So eight, five, six, nine, seven. Two could be there. So this can't go above six. Oh, I think we knew that already, actually. Three, six, two, seven, eight. Ah, oh, I just feel I'm one breakthrough. Oh, look, one there and one there. That's giving us a one, two pair here. One, two, seven, eight, nine. So one of these is a six. It can't be this one. Um, because that's got a one on its shape. So six is up here somewhere. Uh, so that can't be a six. That's not necessarily a five, six pair, because five could be here. But this has got a six up here on this shape and a two. So this shape is two, three, four, five, six, therefore. Therefore, the one is not on that shape. It's up here. Okay, that fixes this two one pair. Um, two, two, two must be here in column eight. That's the only place left. That puts a two either here or here, which oh, I just feel I could rule it out from there if I could spot why. But can't quite do that. There's a six here. Yeah, this is two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, these two can't be five, six. This must be two or three. This one, two, three, four. That's three or five. They can't be two. Oh, just working on something now. Come on. These must be from three, four, five, six, eight. That's not that helpful. Three, four here. Ah, this shape can't have a two on it. That's a three, four pair, and the other things aren't two. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. So these two must be from five, six, and seven. Um, this must be the one in this column now. There's the only place left for it. So let's go to normal. Right, so now this shape is one, two, three, four, five. The two must be here. It must be a four up here. This could be three or five. These are three, four, or five, and that actually gives us a triple there. So now these are six and eight. These are five and seven up here. Because there's a five there, the five in this box must be here. Yep, yeah, so that's good. That fixes the three on that Ren band shape. Five there. This is now 
Um, these are part of two, three, four, five, six, and they can't be five. Oh, I don't know. No, they could be three or four. Oh, I thought we were there. Six, eight, and that pair. Now we pretty much know what's making up all the shapes except this one. So we've got two on that. Therefore, this must include a seven. The minimum it could be is three, four, five, six, seven. The seven must be in one of the corners because of this seven. Um, one can't be on this shape now. It's got a seven in it. And one can't be there because of the Ren band shape or there. One is here. Okay, that's good. So we can put a one there. That gives us a one here. And I think we can finish off the ones with a one there. This is a brilliant puzzle, isn't it? I mean, it's so tricky to work through every stage. Hats off to you if you found a better way of doing it right. That gives us six and eight here. I do begin to feel like we're closing in now. That gives us five, nine, six. That fixes six as here. This is two, three, four, five, six. That now has to be a two because the five's already on the line. Yes. Oh, this can still be a three or a four. How irritating. And this can be a three or a four. And this is a three or a four because of the box. That puts two here, five here. Um, three, two, five, nine, nine. Three or a four there, three or a four there. That's also three or a four, which makes a pair with that one. That makes these two five and eight. Five, eight, six, and one, two. Three must be down on the bottom row there, which puts three on the top row here. <sighs> Not quite done still now. Um, that can't be six anymore. And this can't be six. And we know this shape is three, four, five, six, seven. So six must be here. Um, three, four, these are, that's a five, seven pair. And because they both look at this cell, that can't be a five. So it must be a three. So these ones are now four and five. That makes this one three. Six, that makes this one four. What a puzzle. I mean, I love it. It's so clever. So we've got a nine in one of those. Two, oh, that one's the three, four pairs now resolved by that four that appeared there. That's good. That's fixing the three fours. This one's a three down here. Two, seven, three. So that's a nine, four pair. Um, this one has. We've now got a five there, so that's a seven. That puts five here, seven here, seven, four, three, nine, one, two. Five must be here. This is a six, eight pair, as we've known. This is a three, eight pair. Six here. Look at this. It's coming out now. Excellent. One, two, three, four, not on this shape. So it's obviously six, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, six, one, two, three, seven. This nine, four pair has been resolved. That five, eight pair. Oh, it's so beautiful. Seven and nine here. S eight and six there. Nine there. Eight and five here. Five, four there. Four, nine there. Look at that puzzle. Thank you so much, Christoph, for sending us Gaurav's beautiful puzzle there. Really entertaining piece of work. Um, good luck if you did that in a better time than me stroke us. I'm off to tell Simon that I've finished the puzzle. And uh, thanks very much for watching on Cracking the Cryptic on a rather special edition where we were both in the same room at the same time. Happy New Year to you and uh, see you soon. Bye for now.